Welcome back guys to another Monsterverse video, in this one we're going to be exploring Kong's powers and abilities from past incarnations and using what we know of the upcoming version of the character for Kong Skull Island to determine whether this version of Kong will have powers. Kong usually displays immense physical strength and agility despite his hesitation for battle. When provoked, he is capable of great destruction. Despite all of this, he possesses incredible intelligence and in the 2005 King Kong film, he was able to use sign language to communicate with the humans. In Kong's Toho appearances, they introduced the idea of his special powers including control over electrical currents, man-made or natural, and resistance to radioactive element X. Kong utilizes these abilities in his fight against Godzilla in the original 1962 film when it seems like all hope is lost and Kong is defeated, he's hit by an electrical storm and given another chance and then uses these abilities to channel the electricity through his fingers to hit Godzilla with it and do some serious damage. In addition, he was also generally unaffected by Godzilla's atomic breath as it caused minor cinches to his fur. As far as we know from the upcoming Skull Island film, this Kong is likely adolescent and still developing. It's unclear whether we would see his abilities in this film, however I strongly think they will be implemented in Godzilla vs Kong for the 2020 film, to give him more of an equal chance against Godzilla. So far it seems Legendary is staying fairly true to the origins and power set for their creatures. In this upcoming shared universe, I'm very curious to see how Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah will be handled. And of course, in the Godzilla vs Kong film, whether we actually will see other creatures that they will have to fight, or whether they will actually team up against a larger threat. This is something I could possibly explore in a future video. Would you like to see Kong's special powers utilized in the Godzilla vs Kong film? Like I mentioned, it would certainly make sense that he would develop such powers later on, and as Skull Island was exposed to radiation due to the nuclear testing in the 1950s, and Kong still has time to develop before he meets Godzilla years later. Or do you think we'll actually see some of these abilities in Kong Skull Island against his fight with the skull crawlers and the other dangerous creatures that inhabit his home? Let me know your thoughts down below, and if there's any other topics that you'd like me to discuss for future Monsterverse videos, also put those in the comments below. If you guys have been following the channel, so far Will has been covering all of the Monsterverse content, but I think we're going to be starting to uh, pump out the videos more frequently for you guys as we get closer to Kong Skull Island, so you'll probably be hearing from me uh, in the weeks that follow on supplementary Kong and Godzilla videos. Thank you guys again for watching, my name is Nick, and I'll catch you guys next time.